Hi Stampers! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Nancy Novak and this week we're featuring the Reindeer Fun Stamps and Dies and I'm going to show you how to get the most out of this amazing set. There are so many dies in here so our cards today are going to be using a lot of it. You're going to see a lot of tips and techniques so stick around for those and one of our cards is going to be a gift card holder so let's get started right? So these are the two cards we're going to make. This is the gift card holder. So we're going to make this card, but I'm going to change up the paper. I got some really pretty bright and cheerful paper that we're going to be using. And then this card here is just so cute. This is the kind of card that you need to see in person. It's got this really pretty delicate background that way uh, from the die here that we used in the set. And it's got the presents and the reindeer and the rain and the jingle bells. And it's just really pretty in person. And then inside we have some more of that pretty designer series paper. So like I said, we're going to use a lot of these dies and I'm going to show you a lot of the techniques and how to use how this all goes together. And I just want to talk a little bit about these dies. First of all, you can stamp the deer and the bells and the Christmas tree and the dies will cut them out. You also have designer series paper. This is that paper that we're going to use today. Look at the other side. It's just so pretty. It's really, really pretty. But the dies also come cut out some of the designer series paper. So this right here, the little mama deer and the baby deer, there's a die to cut that out. So you can cut the designer series paper out with the die. And there's also this page here. And this die cuts out this little reindeer that's jumping around so happy. Let me show you that up close. So yeah, the, the dies cut out some of the designer series paper too. But the designer series paper is so, so pretty. And look at this, it's got the presents and it's got beautiful colors, lots of reindeer and a little bit of just fun paper that you can use for the holidays. And uh, it's just really, really, oh, look at this one, really pretty. I love the colors. So the paper is called Reindeer Days and it's 12 by 12 paper, double-sided. And we're also going to use a piece of the this paper here, which is Shy Shamrock Glimmer Paper. So this comes in a pack of five sheets, and it's all the 24-26 in colors. So I'm excited to use that. I just love the in colors this year, so I use them as much as I can. And I knew that this was going to be perfect for Christmas. Okay, so let's get started with our gift card holder. Okay, so it just opens up like that. And I want to mention that I am also using the deckled circles for this card. So I got three deckled circles there. So the deckled circles I use a lot. They're just a very versatile die set. And I'm using these three right here. And I always have project sheets for you. And I list all of the supplies that I used and the sizes. So I will let you know what size circles these are. So if you create this card, you will know all that great information. Okay, so for this card, we're going to do it in real red. I got a real red card base. And then I have lots of scraps that we'll talk about as we go on. And then inside, I have a piece of white. I have another scrap of white. And then here are my three circles. So I cut one out in red. And this is that shy shamrock uh, circle. And then a white circle. So I started to make this gift card holder and then I thought, well, I want to show you guys how to make it. So I did kind of start this, but it, it's really easy so you can catch on really quickly. So this is a piece of 11 by four and a quarter and I scored it at two and three quarters and five and a half. Again, that information will be on the project sheet. So this piece here, this white piece is five and a quarter by four. That's going to be for the inside. And then we have designer series paper. So. I took a piece of designer series paper and I cut it four inches by six inches and then I cut two and three quarters and then I cut two and a quarter and that left me with a one inch piece. Again, all that information will be on the project sheet, but let me just show you what I did. So here's our card base and I glued the designer series paper to the two front folded pieces. And then this piece is going to go on the inside. But first I'm going to stamping. But all this we're going to put aside for now. 
and we're going to do a couple of easy things. So on this piece here, I think I will run that through the Snowflake Sky embossing folder and give it some texture. So I will do that really quick and be right back. Okay, so that has that pretty Snowflake Sky texture on it. And let's go ahead and glue these three pieces together, and then we'll be all done with that. And then we're going to do a lot of die cutting. Okay, we'll put that off to the side for a moment. Okay, let's bring in our scraps here. So this little reindeer is so much fun to cut out, and there are three pieces to doing that. So these are the three pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and put them. So this is early espresso, and we're going to cut out this piece that's got the antlers on it. And then this, this piece here that's got the solid ears on it, we're going to cut that out of white. The front of the deer, we're going to use copper clay. And of course, you could use any color. You could use crumb cake or any pecan pie, any of the colors. So that's the one that we're going to cut out. So again, the antlers, early espresso, the, the die that has the full ear, the solid ear, we're going to cut that out of white. And then the face, we're going to cut out of copper clay. Okay, I've got a scrap of red, so let me bring in some more dies. We've got this cute little bow. We're going to cut that out of that scrap. And then I have a piece of the shamrock, the Shy Shamrock Glimmer Paper. We're going to cut a wreath out of that. And what else do I have? That's it for now. So let me go ahead and cut all that out, and I'll show you how to put it together. It's really easy, and it's a lot of fun. Okay, so there are our deer pieces, and we're just going to glue them together, and we're going to create this cute little deer head. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the top, and put a little bit of glue on the back, and attach our white piece. Dab off that extra glue. So I'm just going to layer him right on top of the white piece. Everything lines up nice and easy. And when you get this done, well, wait till I put the dark piece on. You're going to see he's got little white eyes on that piece there. So now we're going to put glue on the back of this and attach it to our early espresso piece. So you just line those three pieces up, cut out the three pieces, line them up, and glue them together. And that's what you get. It's so cute. I love it. Okay, then we have our wreath. And he just fits right inside there like that. And to attach it, I'm going to use glue dot. So I'm just going to put a glue dot right on the bottom of the deer, right there on each bottom piece. And I'm going to put a glue dot right at the top of our wreath. So I have a glue dot right there and a glue dot on each part of our reindeer. And I'm just going to slide him in and push down. And now it's all stuck together. Really easy. And then our little bow is going to go right there. I'm just going to put a teeny piece of a glue dot right behind the back of the bow and stick that to our wreath. So I got a glue dot here, and I'm going to actually squish it, make it tinier, because it's going to go on the back of here, and it's really a small little piece. You could even cut a glue dot in half. I think I squished it up enough. And I'm going to put it right here. There you go. Very, very cute. So simple, but adorable. Okay, let's continue with our card now. Okay, so our deer is going to go on our three circles. So I'm going to go ahead and pop him up. So I'll put a couple of dimensionals on the back. So the dimensionals fit just right on his ears. And um, you can also cut the dimensionals down if you want, just in case you're a little worried that they might be sticking out along the edge. But they fit perfectly. And I'm going to put our reindeer right in the middle of our circles. So his antler show and his bow show. Very, very cute. And now we're going to bring this piece back in. So what we're going to do to make this a gift card holder is we're going to cut out a little half circle right here so the recipient knows that there's something behind there. So I have a one inch circle punch and I'm just going to kind of put it in halfway and I'm looking at each side here so I can kind of center it. 
Then I'm going to bring in some tear and tape. And we're going to put tear and tape at the top and the bottom, just right up to the, to the score line. Okay, now I'm going to take that tear and tape off and close it up. And that's going to create our little gift card pocket. Just like that. So see, our gift card is going to fit just perfectly right in there. But we'll pull it out for now and continue on with our card. So I'm going to bring this piece in and we're going to do a little stamping. So that's going to go just like that. This is going to go on the front. So when we stamp, we want to make sure that our stamping is behind our little circles there so it doesn't show over here. And the sentiment I'm going to use is, may all of your days be full of cheer. And it's going to fit just perfect back there. So I'm going to use real red. And I'm going to stamp right in the middle there. Okay, before we go any further, before we put that together, I'm going to bring in this little scrap and I'm going to stamp in real red and I'm going to stamp the sentiment Merry Christmas. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue the inside piece and I'll show you how to do the front. Okay, so our reindeer is going to go right, right here in the center of our card and we're going to pop it up. So we're going to put dimensionals just on the left side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the, this over and I'm going to put dimensionals just on the left side of that circle. So I was putting it this way. That way I can make sure that I don't cross over the center of my card so the dimensionals don't show. So we can take the backing off and go ahead and stick it to the front of our card. Okay. Sentiment doesn't show on the inside. And our little reindeer just looks so cute. I love the colors. That sh shy shamrock really looks nice with the red. Okay, so we got one more thing I want to do on the inside, or two more things actually. And our sentiment is going to go right about here. So it kind of sticks up over here because of the dimensional. So I got to put a dimensional on this side right there and then just maybe a little bit of glue right at the bottom of that. OK, so for the inside, I wanted to show you guys a little bit more of the dies and what we can do with them. So there's a couple things we could do. We uh, before I glued that in, I could have just stamped what I'm going to show you. I could have stamped the Christmas tree and then we're going to put a string of lights up here. But um, we'll go ahead and cut them out. We'll stamp them and we'll cut them out. That way you can see a little bit more of how the dies work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the string of lights and put it on a scrap sheet of white and cut that out. And then I'm going to also bring in the shy shamrock. And I'm going to stamp the Christmas tree. I love this Christmas tree. And then I'm going to bring this die in and cut out the Christmas tree. So we're cutting out a string of lights and we're, we stamp the tree. We cut out the tree. Now you could just stamp the tree in here if you wanted. You could stamp a tree right there. That's where I'm going to put it. This is all glued. If you do that, do it before you glue it just so you don't make a mistake. But let me go ahead and cut these out and I'll show you how cute the inside of our card is going to be. I'm going to bring in a little scrap sheet here. So here's my Christmas tree. Very, very cute. And then here is the string of lights. Okay, so I brought the, the scrap sheet in because I'm going to color these lights in with, um, with, with my Stampin' Blends. So I'm just going to color in all the light bulbs here. And I'm going to alternate in, um, let's see, I have Shy Shamrock and Real Red. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue these to the inside of the card. And I'm going to lay the string of lights right in the corner up here. Bring back in our gift card. And there is your first card. So I really showed you how to use a lot of the pieces in this set. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. But it's very easy to do, and it just turned out so cute. And then we have a little gift card holder. So I love that string of lights. Very, very, very pretty. 
Okay, let's go on to card number two. So we're going to use a lot more of the dies on this card. Okay, so this card, we have a card base of Whisper White or Basic White. And then we have an inside piece of white and a front piece of white. And on this piece on the front, I went ahead and I did the die cut for the big background um, die. I already did that ahead of time. And my advice for this is to make sure you have a nice cutting plate, nice and straight, or else you have to go back a few times, make sure it's cut out really well. You have all these little pieces that are left, and I'm just going to go ahead and break those away, and I will be right back. You'll see how pretty it turns out. Okay, so I have all of those little pieces broke away, and now I'm going to stamp on the top of this, and I'm going to stamp in real red. Okay, now I'm going to bring garden green in, and we're going to stamp our Christmas trees. So to do that, I'm going to bring in our, the front of our card, and we have our little piece here, just to kind of, kind of dry fit it to see where I want to stamp. And I'm just going to stamp some Christmas trees right on the base of our card. Just like that. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so our, this piece here is going to go right on the front. So it just shows some little color and colorful trees behind there. So that's going to be really pretty. And now let's stamp our deer. So for this one, we're going to use a lot of the dies again. So I have a bunch of little scraps. But first, we're going to stamp the deer. So I'm going to do that in Memento. So I've got Memento Black. I'm going to stamp it right on copper clay. Then I'm going to bring in Real Red, and we're going to stamp his little harness on him. So you just have to line it up. This is a photopolymer stamp. You can see right through it. So it's this piece right here. That little stamp right there is what we're going to stamp right on the deer. So I'm just lining up the belly part and the neck part. And a lot of it goes right on his kind of his chest. And now he's all decorated for Christmas. He looks so cute. Okay, so we can do a little bit of die cutting here. So I have a piece of the silver foil. I'm going to bring in the Jingle Bell dies. And then we're going to bring in the reindeer die. We're going to cut out our reindeer that we just stamped. And then on this piece here, I'm going to cut out bows for our presents. So I have three bows. And I have three presents. So I'm going to cut out. I have two presents that come with the dies. So I'm going to cut out one out of that designer series paper. That's the striped die. And then I'm going to cut out the striped die in white. And then this little dotted die also in white. So I'm going to do all that die cutting. And then we'll come back and we'll put our card together. Okay, so we have all of our pieces cut out. Now let me show you how they all go together. I love making these kinds of cards. I think they're just so, so adorable, so personal, and um, just I just think they're really fun. I think the hardest part about these cards, once you make them, is to decide who you're going to send them to, right? <laughs> it's got to be someone really, really special. But whoever gets it sure is going to like it. Okay, so let's do the easy stuff. I'm going to push all this off to the side, and we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to glue the front uh, piece that we cut out and stamped on to the front of the card base. Okay, so I like to touch as many of these little branches as I can and then blob it, blot it off on that um, silicone mat just so that when the recipient gets it, gets it these little branches don't stick up and fall off. Okay, this little piece here is going to go right at the bottom. And our little reindeer is going to go right there. I'm going to pop him up on a dimensional or two. Okay, now we're going to build our presents. So I have two white ones and this pretty red and white one. And the bows, I'm going to put a bow on this big tall bow. 
just going to go on that gift and then I'm going to turn this one sideways and put that one on there just going to glue it on and then this one actually on the card I made before I made a tall one so I have to see how this is going to fit so let me go ahead and glue our bows on, except for that one. That one's going to go on last. But I'm going to glue these bows on and then place the presents right on the front of the card. And I just glued the presents down. And I glued the two white ones on first. I kind of did them at the same time. So I put those two presents on first, and they're glue, but I didn't stick the glue down a whole bunch yet because <laughs> I want to sit, put this one behind it. And this one's going to have that bow on it. Okay, so now I can glue this one. So I'm just kind of setting it right behind these two. It's not going to go all the way down. It's just going to kind of sit up at the top. Just like that. Whoops. And then this bow is going to go right there. So I'm going to put glue on the back of this and blot it off and stick it on the front of the card. Okay, so now what I want to do, you might notice um, when you're in, when you're doing this in person, these bows right here have a, need a little bit more glue on the back of them. So I just put a little bit of glue on a scrap sheet and I'm just kind of kind of rub it on the back of the bows, anything that's sticking up. That'll add some extra glue there. I'm just going to push it down. Now everything will be nice and stuck to our card. So it won't get stuck in the envelope when they're opening and closing it. Okay, we have to put our bells on the front. But before we do that, I'm going to do the inside. So I'm going to bring back in the real red. And I'm going to stamp Merry Christmas and put a piece of designer series paper right at the bottom and then glue that to the inside of our card. Oh, I got a smudge right there, so I'm going to flip it over and do it again. So I kind of put this piece kind of even up from the bottom, the same distance as the front piece. Okay, so our bells are going to go right there, right at the top, and we're going to put a little bow with our red and white twine up there too. So I'm going to put a little teeny tiny piece of dimensional, not a teeny tiny one, but a smaller piece of dimensional on the back of these bells. There's a space right up at the top that's solid, so you can attach your dimensional there. And I'm going to put those on the front of the card. And then I am going to put a nice little red and white twine bow there. So I'm going to kind of straighten out this twine just by pulling it through my fingers so it's not curly. And then I'm going to try to do a double bow on my fingers and then attach it. Okay, so I have a little bow here. It's with the red and white twine. And I'm just going to attach it right at the top of the bells with a glue dot. Okay, so there is your second card. And we used a lot of the dies that are in that set. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got a lot of tips out of both of the cards that we made tonight. Let's look at the inside. Very, very pretty. Like I said, this is a card you need to see in person because that little background there with all the little ferns is really pretty. And our deer is so cute. Presents and bows and Christmas trees and deer. Just really pretty. And then, of course, this is adorable. I love that reindeer. He's so fun. And we have a gift card holder.
If you enjoyed these cards and my video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends or on your Pinterest boards. It really helps more people find me and I truly appreciate your support. So I'm wishing you a very happy Thanksgiving. I'll see you next time. Remember, don't be shy. Stamp and shout.